The Merkava MK.4 mile Ruach, known as the Wind Coat or Windbreaker, represents an upgraded iteration of the Merkava MK.4 tank model, incorporating the Trophy Active Protection System APS. Occasionally referred to as the Merkava MK.4 Baz or Merkava MK.4M Windbreaker, its primary objective was enhancing the safeguarding capabilities of the Merkava MK.4 tanks against advanced anti-tank guided missiles with tandem heat warheads. Manufacturing of this tank commenced in 2009, and the initial brigade outfitted with these improved Merkava MK.4 tanks achieved operational status in 2011. In 2014, reports emerged indicating Israel's intention to export a number of Merkava MK.4 tanks to an undisclosed recipient, possibly Colombia. Nevertheless, it remains uncertain whether these tanks would be equipped with the Trophy APS. At present, the Merkava MK.4 Mile Ruach stands as one of the foremost main battle tanks worldwide. The Trophy system, originating from Israel, is a hard-kill protection system designed for armored vehicles. It detects and intercepts incoming anti-tank rockets and guided missiles by deploying a shotgun-like blast within close proximity to the tank. This effectively neutralizes incoming threats before they can strike the tank. Moreover, the trophy system reportedly identifies the source of the attack and enables engagement with anti-tank teams. Despite the original Merkava MK.4 already being among the most heavily fortified tanks globally, the upgraded MK.4 Mile Ruach, integrated with the Trophy APS, offers even greater survivability. Notably, the first successful operational deployment occurred in 2011, when the Merkava MK.4 Mile Ruach successfully withstood a missile assault. Since then, these tanks have intercepted numerous anti-tank rockets, including RPG-29, and anti-tank guided missiles like Cornet and Midas M. The protective suite includes an advanced threat identification and warning system, alongside a countermeasure system. The Merkava MK.4 Mile Ruach incorporates a laser warning receiver and smoke grenade launchers. When exposed to laser illumination, the tank releases a smoke screen, diminishing the likelihood of being targeted by laser-guided anti-tank missiles employing semi-automatic guidance. The MK.4 Mile Ruach features modular armor that can be reconfigured to address specific threats. The hull's underside is reinforced to heighten defense against land mines. The tank boasts robust protection against air-launched guided missiles and top-attack anti-tank weaponry. Armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun developed by Israel Military Industries IMI, the MK.4 Mile Ruach can fire a range of 120mm munitions, including standard NATO variants. Additionally, it can launch Laha anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as conventional projectiles. The tank carries 10 rounds in an electrically operated revolving magazine, always ready for firing. Each round is stored in a protective container to safeguard the crew in the event of an ammunition explosion, with the loader able to semi-automatically select the appropriate ammunition type. The main battle tank is equipped with an advanced fire control system, featuring a notably high probability of hitting helicopters with initial rounds when utilizing standard munitions. Secondary armaments encompass coaxial 12.7mm and 7.62mm machine guns, with an additional 7.62mm machine gun mounted atop the roof. Furthermore, the tank houses an internally operated 60mm mortar. This main battle tank incorporates an integrated battle management system that empowers the crew to strategize missions, navigate, and maintain situational awareness. It facilitates the identification of friendly units and enemy targets, unifying tanks, anti-tank units, artillery, and helicopters within a coordinated task force. In 2017, plans emerged for the Israel Defense Forces IDF, to initiate trials of Elbit's Iron Vision system. This innovative system stands as the world's inaugural helmet-mounted head-up display for tanks. Cameras mounted externally provide a 360 degrees view of the tank surroundings, projected onto the helmet-mounted display of the crew, negating the necessity to open hatches for observation. 
Elbit had previously developed a similar system for the F-35 fighter aircraft. The Merkava MK.4 accommodates a four-person crew, comprising a commander, gunner, loader, and driver. Additionally, if required, the tank can transport additional dismounted personnel. The distinctive layout of Merkava series main battle tanks, with front-mounted engines, allocate space for troops or cargo at the rear of the hull. When ammunition is unloaded, the tank can carry up to eight dismounted soldiers or accommodate three stretchers. Troops access and exit the vehicle through the rear hatch, providing the unique ability to transport troops directly to the battlefield or evacuate them. This design affords a considerably higher level of protection for dismounted troops compared to infantry fighting vehicles commonly employed for this purpose. Furthermore, the front-mounted engine enhances frontal protection. The tank's propulsion relies on the General Dynamics 883V-12 diesel engine, generating 1,500 horsepower. While initially developed by the German MTU company, the engine is licensed produced by General Dynamics Land Systems in the USA. The same engine is utilized in the French Leclerc main battle tank. The engine pack and transmission are located at the front of the hull, and the entire power pack can be replaced in the field within 30 minutes. Mine rollers can be affixed to the front of the hull.